Hi, my name is Eric Mijakovsky. I'm one of the founders of Beeper, um, and I'm really excited to be back. We've had a bit of radio silence over the last few months, uh, but don't worry, we've been working extremely hard. And as of today, we're extremely proud to say that Beeper is out of beta. For the last three months, the team has been heads down, working hard on getting the last few remaining bugs out of the app. And we're really proud of where Beeper is today. Uh, the majority of the work over the last few months has gone into um, increasing the stability, uh, basically making it possible for you to switch from WhatsApp or iMessage or whatever your default chat client is today to use Beeper full time as your primary messaging app. Um, we put a lot of work into our native Android apps uh, and iOS apps. Um, our desktop app is looking amazing. I'll give you a bit of a demo of it uh, in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of amazing to look back. Uh, there's this you know YC startup expression that you're supposed to be embarrassed about your MVP or the first version of the product that you put out. And I will say that looking back at what Beeper looked like six months ago, I definitely am embarrassed. Um, but as of today, I think uh, it's working very well, and I'm excited to get more and more people onto the app. Um, if you want to see how far we've come, you can check out our change log, which I'll link to below, and you can see just uh, how much progress we've made. Um, during the mean in the meantime, though, many of you have signed up for Beeper, and there is now quite a long waiting list. We have invited everyone who has prepaid for Beeper to use the app. Uh, so if you have prepaid for a year's subscription and you're not using Beeper, check your email um, or send us a message to help at beeper.com um, and we'll make sure we get you onto the app as soon as possible. As of right now, we are working our way through the waitlist. We are now in uh, inviting people who have reserved a username on Beeper, uh, but there are many of you, thousands of you. So we're slowly working our way through we want to make sure that our servers do not uh, collapse <laughs> as more and more people start using the app. Our primary objective is stability and making sure that the people who are on Beeper have an amazing experience. So as we get more confident in our server infrastructure, we'll be adding more and more people to, um, to the app. Um, but I just want to let you know that there are over 100,000 people who have reserved or signed up for um, the Beeper waitlist. So it will take us a few months to get through that list for sure. Um, my, my job is getting kind of interesting. So uh, as of right now, we're out of beta and Beeper really is, like I said, something that you can switch to and use as your primary messenger. But that's not the extent of where we wanna take Beeper. We wanna make Beeper into the best chat messaging app on earth. And to do that, we're spending a lot of time talking to our users, both people who are using Beeper today, but also potential users, people who are heavy messaging users and have a lot of thoughts and feelings about um, what they wanna see in the world's best chat app. So if that's you, please consider signing up for Beeper. Send me a message on Twitter. I'd love to chat. I'd love to hear what would make uh, Beeper the best chat app for you. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, continue to have a lot of great conversations and it's kind of following my advice. Like I published this um, video for Startup School a couple of years ago about talking to users. And I feel like in a lot of ways I'm coming full, full circle because the majority of my time is now spent talking to people and getting their feedback on Beeper. Uh, I personally love it. It's a great position to be in and um, having a lot of fun. Let's do a little uh, demo here. So. This is um, this is Beeper, the latest version out of beta. Um, let's just uh, go around here. It's always a little bit weird doing a live demo of uh, my own chat app, <laughs> my own chat app, but uh, we'll see. Um, so as you can see, the UI has changed quite a bit since uh, what you might have seen in our last demo. We've made it much easier to switch between chat networks. Um, so this is the space bar, we call the space bar. It's a collection of the different um, networks that you've connected to Beeper. Beeper now supports uh, like 12 or 13 different um, different chat networks. I have a bit of a messaging problem, so that's why I have so many different apps connected here. Um, yeah, so we've been working on the UI. Uh, let's 
scan around here. Use this as an opportunity, of course, to show off videos of my little uh, little boy um, who's grown quite a bit since the last time I did a demo. Um, this is the app. It looks a lot like a chat app because it is. Um, but what else do we got? We, we recently added a favorites, um, book, a bookmark section. So you can bookmark messages that you want to come back to later. I use it for not just pictures of my kid, but also for to do's or things that I need to um, need to accomplish. Um, yeah, let's just uh, take a little tour around the app. Um, this is a group chat. Uh, we spent a lot of time just making it look and feel like um, like a modern messaging app. We worked on link previews quite a bit. Um, of course, one of the uh, the features that people love about Beeper is being able to um, mark a chat as unread. It's always a little bit crazy that something like iMessage does not actually support marking as unread. So if you are an iMessage user and are eager to have mark as unread on iMessage, then uh, Beeper might be the right solution for you. Um, we've added a bunch of settings that will let you kind of uh, filter um, and, and manage your inbox. So you can choose which networks will show up in your inbox. So I personally get overwhelmed with uh, LinkedIn messages. So I've chosen not to show LinkedIn in my main inbox. Um, sorry to everyone who's messaging me on LinkedIn. But I do see it. You see it when it comes in up here. It's just a chance to not have it overwhelm your uh, primary inbox. Um, cool. This is the, uh, the Beeper desktop app. Oh, uh, other things like keyboard shortcuts. We spent a lot of time working on making it easy to mouse around and get through the uh, get through the app really quickly using keyboard shortcuts. Um, you can put things in a low priority uh, inbox, so they won't um, kind of clog up your main inbox as well. I think this is it on the desktop side. Uh, let's switch over to iPhone, and I'll show you a little bit there. Okay, next up is a tour of the latest version of the Beeper iPhone app. Um, we've been working really hard on this over the last few months. Uh, the primary thing that we've been doing is an entire rewrite of the UI in Swift UI. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty smooth. It still has a few bugs. Um, I would say that this is not really out of beta yet. We have uh, a laundry list of a few more issues that we want to crush before we are confident taking this out of beta, um, but it is, dramatically better than what it was before uh, for those of you who have tried our earlier version. Um, we've been working really hard on improving the speed, improving the notifications, making it smoother in general. Um, but yeah, uh, we also rewrote the search view so it's easier to um, jump around and uh, switch between apps. Um, excited for you to try it out. Uh, I, like I said before, there are still a few things that we're working on, um, but uh, I've been using it for the last couple of weeks and it is um, it's feeling pretty good. Again, our goal here is to make it possible for you to replace your existing chat apps with Beeper. Um, and I think we're pretty close. We're getting closer on mobile than we were before. Uh, next up, I'll show off a little bit of a demo of the Beeper Android app, especially how it could be used to chat on iMessage. Here's the uh, Beeper Android app demo. So um, we've gone outside because it was a bit reflecty inside. Uh, so my disembodied hands are showing off the Beeper Android app on the left. And this is an iPhone on iMessage on the right. Um, I wanted to show off first some of the capabilities. Uh, we really worked on making the iMessage connection fast. So you can see that messages get sent from you know Android through, uh, through Beeper to iMessage really quickly. We support uh, emoji reactions, so you could um, re react to any message that comes up on iOS. We've also been working hard on making media work pretty seamlessly. Uh, so you hear, see on the right, I'm sharing a, a high resolution HEVC image, uh, video from iMessage to, um, uh, to this group chat. Uh, you can see it sending on the right, and then uh, a few seconds later, it arrives on the on Beeper. Um, this is something that people really love because, as you know, if you're an Android user, it is hard to get high-resolution video sent through um, SMS or MMS or whatever. 
Uh, so we wanted to make sure that that was a great, um, great experience. You can also reply to messages. Um, and if other people on iPhone reply, you get those sent through uh, natively in Beeper as a reply. Uh, gifts also work. Uh, where are they? Gifts right here. Um, yeah. Again, it's basically just like using iMessage, but on Android. Um, yeah been working really hard on that. That's something that uh, the team has been kind of pulling together the last few months. Uh, oh, and last but not least, you can share stickers um, and receive stickers as well through iMessage. Cool. Uh, well, I hope you've had a chance to to see the, uh, the latest versions of the Beeper apps. We're extremely proud of them. We've been working hard and very happy to have them out of beta uh, as of right now. We've got a lot of people in the waiting list, uh, as I mentioned, so expect over the next few months to get an invite to use Beeper. We're excited to hear what you think, and as always, we'll be working to improve on a weekly basis. Thanks very much.